All right, this is video for Jeremy with another tutorial here. Today we're gonna to look at a couple new ways to create layers in newer versions of After Effects. So you can see I have my project set up here. I have all my clips. And let's just say I wanted to add a text layer. In previous versions of After Effects, I would right click, I would add my text layer, and that text layer would be put on top of all my clips here. Say I wanted that text above a specific clip, I'd have to take this layer, drag it down, and it would be where I want it. It's not really that big of a deal, but if you have a lot of layers, it can get annoying. So let's undo that using Command Z and take a look at the newer way of doing this. So now if I wanted to add a text layer above this clip, I would select it, right click, go back to new, text, and there the text is on top of the clip that I wanted. So that saves a bunch of time if you have a lot of clips and if you're wanting to add a bunch of layers on top of specific clips. All right, let's get rid of that and take a look at another new feature. So to look at this feature, I'm gonna select these top three clips and I'm gonna pre-compose them by right-clicking and then selecting pre-compose. I'll just name these intro shots. And you'll see that I have this box here to adjust the composition duration to the time span of the selected layers. So I'll keep that checked, press OK, and you'll see that my pre-comp is only as long as the duration of the clips that I had selected. I'm gonna go ahead and undo this and show you the old way so that you can see the difference. All right, so I still have these clips selected. Again, I'm gonna right click, pre-compose, name them intro shots, and I'm gonna uncheck this box. Now you'll see that my pre-comp has the same duration as the entire composition. So this gets kind of messy if I start adding a lot of pre-comps because I don't know where their ending is in relation to the clips themselves. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to select a couple different clips here. One's in the middle. Again, right-clicking, pre-compose. Just leave that pre-comp, but check this box again. And then you'll see that it only pre-comps those clips in the duration of the actual clips. So another way to keep things tidy, and again, these features aren't things that are going to set the world on fire, but it's stuff that's really helpful once you start getting deeper into a project, adding more layers, dealing with more clips, dealing with more pre-comps. Well, that does it. Just a couple of useful tools to keep in mind as you're working on your project. Be sure to check out videofort.com for more Premiere Pro and After Effects tutorials.